Hey, what's up Integrity fam? Welcome back to our Academy. And today we're going to have a look at a very basic SQL injection vulnerability. Let's start by looking at our lab provided by Portswigger. And the goal today is to retrieve hidden data. We'll see in a bit what is actually hidden. But let's look at the web app for now. It's a shop application. And we do see, for example, Cheshire Cat Grin as one of the products. And if we go back, we can refine our search by clicking on those categories that we see over here. Clicking at accessories, we do see in the URL bar that a parameter is added called category with the value set to accessories. And if we look at the SQL query that is performed in the back towards the database, we do see select asterisk, which means select all the columns from the table of products with a condition where category equals accessories and released equals one. And if we think about the goal, we try to find hidden data. So we want to set released to zero and to one. So to see all the products, how are we going to do that? If we look at another category, we do see the same SQL query, but now we're asking for corporate gifts. Released is still set to one. What happens if we set the category to nothing? We do see that the condition category is closed with no string inside. And as we do not have a product where the category is a non-existing string, we don't see any product right now. So what happens if we add a single quote? And that is a typical strategy for finding SQL injection vulnerabilities to just inject one single quote, and we do see that in the category condition, we close the string, but now we have a third single quote in there, and that is breaking the SQL query. That is not correct syntax, and we are getting an internal server error. So now we're trying to go to the full exploit. We're going to say, okay, we are closing the condition category with a single quote, then we say, or one equals one, that is a new condition that we're introducing at this point that always evaluates the true. And then we're using two dashes to say everything that comes afterwards is a common. So now we're having this query that you're seeing over here. And as we're commenting out and released equals one, we're actually going to see every single product that exists. So the hidden ones and the non-hidden ones. And with that, we actually see that we solved the lab. And I want to show you the proof now. If we look at all the products, we do see 20 products looking at the hidden and non-hidden or released and non-released products. And if we go back and sort the categories again, just say, show me all products, then we will have a valid SQL query again that we've seen in the beginning of this video, but now we only see 12 products. So with the exploit, we actually got to see eight products more. And let's just take our time as usual to quickly reiterate what we've seen and what we've been doing. So first of all, we explored the web app. We realized it's a shop application and we figured out that sorting after a certain category is causing a SQL query in the back. And we have injected a single quote to check and realize if the application is vulnerable. As we got an error, there was a good chance that it actually was vulnerable. And then we injected our payload to try and comment out certain parts of the SQL query. And that allowed us to retrieve hidden data that was usually not meant to be seen by the regular user. And that's it for today. Please leave a comment down below if you have a question at this point. Give us a like. That's really important to us. And do not forget to subscribe in the top right corner. And I will see you folks soon.